gonna be testing out the brand new Paragon Monkey Buccaneer. He's called the Navarch of the Seas, and he comes equipped with literal spaceships and a zero cooldown ability to eat Moabs. So we're gonna be the world's first getting him to level 100. Remember, if you want us to mod BTD6 to have more Paragon Towers, let's get 10,000 likes. Now, in order to help us out during this challenge, we have a variety of mods, such as the cross pathing mod, and even a mod that makes it so that any time you spawn in a Paragon, it's automatically degree level 100. That's right, everyone. This might be the first on YouTube to get a level 100 Paragon using the brand new Buccaneer. So this is gonna be super duper awesome. We also have the send multiple rounds at a time mod on because why wouldn't we do that? I mean, that's absolutely awesome. Like, look, we're sending like two or three waves at one time. It does help speed things up a little bit. Uh, and in the meantime, we also have to find a way to get a lot of cash because this guy is not cheap. It is $425,000. But that being said, from what I've heard, he's the most overpowered tower in Bloon Sire Defense 6 history, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. And I don't really know what to do with that information besides, well, cheer. All right, I'm going to send like three waves at once. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Maybe that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Wait. No, no. Oh. We're actually doing just fine again. I mean, it is, to be fair, the earlier waves. So let me set a fourth wave at the same time. And then once you put it on the banana farms and you skip a wave, it automatically gives you the money from those waves. So you pretty much just make money super duper quick. Uh, and it really kind of keeps you on your toes. But I mean, you might think you're like, you're broke and you're about to die. And then in reality, it's like, oh no, I'm actually doing just fine. I just needed it to end a round or two or three or four or five. You know what? Let's just keep sending them. There we go. Send another wave. Eh, we can send another wave. Why not? What's the worst thing that happens? We lose? Oh, wait, that actually is the worst thing that could possibly happen. Anyway, in order to get the Paragon Tower, it's the same as any other Paragon Tower in that you do need to get a T5 of every single path. Now, we do have the Ultimate Cross Pathing mod on, like I said. Oh my, it actually turns out we don't have the Ultimate Cross Pathing mod on. I guess the new update broke it. Oh, we're in for it now. This has gotten so much more intense in a matter of seconds. I thought we had the Ultimate Cross Pathing mod on. Silly old me. Well, that's kind of a problem that they broke it. Like, that's not... That's not good. All right, where else can I put a banana farm? Can I put one down right? I can put one down there. All right, let's go ahead and let's get that set up. The only problem that I foresee here, though, is that, oh, no. We're going to have to go the banks route then because we don't have monkey farmers either being on challenge mode, which means, oh, that's just going to be so annoying going between the two here. All right, there we go. Send multiple ways. And once us to do hot shot. Faster shooting there. So I guess we'll just focus this guy on being our middle tier uh, monkey pirate lord. That seems like the smarter route to start off with. And then we can kind of go from there. I'll get one of the bottom route. I'll probably do the top route last because I don't really see that as being uh, nearly as valuable to us. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Can we send two waves at once? Can I Can I survive? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, ever since the cannon ship upgrade, we are surviving just fine and dandy. All right, and our first bank. Thank you very much. I don't have to keep scrambling across the map. There we go. Send. You know what? Let's send a couple more waves. Let's just keep going with it. Let's just keep going with it. All right. Um, this is uh, everything is fine, right? Everything is okay. Okay. If I collect that now, we get less interest. But now we have two banks. Um, which really isn't that great, to be honest. All right. Let's try and delete that there. And can I fit one more banana farm down there? Otherwise, somehow, some way, we got to do this with only two banana farms. And that's not going to be pretty. <gasps> the merchant ships. Oh, no. Are we going to have to set up a, an entire trade empire? This video is just absolutely filled with plot twists. Like, this is getting ridiculous. All right, so we have there's a lot of money waiting around there. Here, let's send a couple more of these. And I'll get some of that. And if I collect all the money up here, I could probably afford yet another bank. I mean, we got to upgrade that eventually, but for now, it should be just fine. All right, there we go. We'll wait for the Monkey Pirate Lord. Um, I think we'll be able to take down a Mo. Ah, maybe we can't actually. That is kind of risky. I don't know. Let me let me let me put down another ship just to be extra extra safe here. And we'll have this one going the Merchantman route. There we go. And then after that, we'll start getting one going the top route. I just want to make as much money as possible early on here. Otherwise, we might be on a little bit of the doomed side of things. Come on. Come on, merchantmen. Pop on up. There you go. And then we'll probably go with the grape shot because uh, everyone loves grape shot. And hot shot allows you to pop through lead. So that way we could take down any camo lead balloons that try to come our way. Otherwise, right now, they'd be a serious problem. Uh, and speaking of serious problems, like I said... I really don't feel very confident in us right now. I, I This is, uh, all the plot twists. I did not come into this with the same understanding, clearly, that the game had for me. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll do that. And 
Oh, we were able to take that out. That's good. That's good. So we got our first IMF loan building here. That's good. We want to get a couple more of them, though. The Yeah, I guess we can kind of get all three. I wish we had pontoons. Oh, man. Well, we can get favor trades, actually. Do I want to do favor trades, or do I want to get... Let's get IMF loan set up, and then we'll do some more favor trades. There we go. We'll get one of those. And unfortunately, getting a T5 of that, I don't know how reasonable it's going to be. Oh, jeez. They actually start sneaking on through. We need to get down our destroyer ship a little earlier than I expected. So let's go ahead then and send a couple more waves, please. And we got to get this thing to probably be camo. Unless can I... Ah, I can put this down here. And that saves us from having to get camo. So that'll, that'll work out nicely, actually. Let's collect all of this. Do radar scanner here. Use jungle drums to make them shoot faster. We'll get ourselves a destroyer ship. And now we don't need any camo popping abilities at all. That's actually really awesome. All right, so the route to T5s is going still a little bit slowly. I mean, we're kind of getting there, I guess. Let me send two, three waves at a time. Let's see what happens. Can we survive that? Uh, by the looks of it, actually, we might be able to. There we go. Got an IMF loan going. I can borrow up to $30,000, but then we do have to pay that back eventually. So it's one of those things like, do we want to do that? I don't really know. I usually kind of shy away from that. Oh, definitely, though, let's get Trade Empire next when we get the chance. Or Monkey Pirates, perhaps, to take down... Yeah, just in case any Moab try to sneak by a little bit further than we're comfortable with. And plus, to get Trade Empire is 19000 which once these banks fill up, we should have the money theoretically to get it. Um, and that'll make us a good amount of money and make us more money off of our favored trades. Because we're going to need as many of those ships as humanly possible, really, if we're going to pull this off. Um, okay, there we go. So we can take out the money now and Trade Empire! They're really at $820 every single round. So let's go ahead and put down up to 20 more ships, I believe, it can boost at a time. All right, well, we might as well put them close to the track so they can actually deal a little bit of damage. And luckily enough, like I was saying, it doesn't really exactly matter how many of these we put down outside of making money, just simply because we end up getting Paragon Degree level 100 regardless of pops of all the towers, regardless of what towers we have down. Uh, that mod is actually just completely cracked, to be completely honest with you. Um, all right, there we go. Let's send, let's send like two waves at a time there. We'll, we'll soak those up. And oh, I forgot about our Moab... I put the Moab mine off screen. I hate everything. Uh, anyway, more money! Favorite trades, here we come! And we'll just keep on doing hotshot for those, because why not? All right, so the blues are starting to make it a little further, especially when I send multiple waves at once, which I realize actually is not the smartest idea. But in my opinion, that means we should start to upgrade our towers a little bit more here to get some more T5s down. Uh, so I think we'll be able to afford the Pirate Lord pretty much, yeah, immediately. And actually, is that enough... That's enough for the carrier flagship. We have all T5s down now, which means all we need to do is save up $425,000. I said it like that's a small amount. That's actually an uh, absolute ton of money. Um, so, yeah! I think we need to keep on putting down these guys right here. Get some more favorite trades. And like I said, get up to 20 of those. And then we just sit back and relax, I guess. All right, we finally have the money now to put down our very last of these merchant ships. I might even do an extra one just for good measure here. There we go. And boom. So now we've basically maxed out eco on this map. I mean, we could put down more merchantmen, but they're not going to get the trade empire boost. And at that point, it just kind of becomes a little lame, to be honest. It's totally not worth it, I promise you. Uh, so now we'll just focus on perhaps saving up our money and even getting a monkey nomics. I feel like a monkey nomics could come in handy even this late stage while we try to save up 400000 dollars which is uh no small str we actually got monkey nomics already. All right, you know what? Fine. There we go. Perfect. All right, so anytime we click that button, we get $10,000. And of course, we can always sell it off after the fact for $85,000 anyway. So we'll make the money back in no time. I'm going to send like five ways at a time here and kind of hope for the best. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they are, they are crushing it. Yep, yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, there we go. Let's send, let's send more waves at a time. And oh, would you look at that pirate lord? <laughs> Taking out the zombs. Dude. I'm so excited for this. From what I heard, like I said, this is the all-time most powerful tower in BTD6 history. Obviously not including mods, but still, I mean, that would be kind of cheating anyway, so modded towers, you know, don't really count there. All right, let's send these last two waves. This is 88 and 89 at the same time, and then we'll get ready for all the DDT waves. Uh, oh my gosh, our money is just flying in the door right now. There we go, another $10,000, please. And I'll eat those up. And you know, I'm gonna send in the I'm gonna send in the first DDT wave. I'm gonna send in it right now. Right I'm gonna send two. I'm gonna send three waves. Actually, that was maybe a bad idea. Oh, oh, oh! 
Oh, we didn't even have to use the ability. Look at that. We just crushed them on that one. You know what? Let's send one or two more waves. Let's get a little crazy. And also, we got the Moab mine here. Why don't, we, why don't we put one of these down? Like, right there to keep us safe. There we go. That just immediately took out those DDTs. All right, if we collect the money from here now, we're at 360. We can sell off the banks, and we can afford it. Oh, my gosh. Here it is, everyone. The moment you've all been waiting for. The Navarch of the Seas. He's going to... He's going to automatically be level 100 for the first one in BTD6 history. Look at that. Oh my... I'm literally not doing that. That's not my... What is going on? What is going on? I... I straight up didn't use any abilities. That was... That was just him being him. I... What? <laughs> what just happened, dude? Uh, let me get rid of Admiral Brickle, by the way. What in the world actually... Bro, 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 I'm not... So, dude, can, can no Moabs actually get pet? Wait, wait. What happens if I send... I'm going to send, like, five waves at once. That... Bro, he doesn't have a, a limit. Okay, okay. We found we found one of his limits. ZOMGs, apparently. Reinforce the... Why, why is he ignoring the re... What? What is going... Did it glitch? Is it... I th I We're going to need to get to the bottom of this. I, I think it might be glitched. Um, because I sent, like, multiple ways at once. Let's just send down a perma spike here at the end, uh, to stop him, and then let's get to the bottom of what just happened. Oh, he literally does- he's literally glitched. He might not even be real. Well, let's see if he's real or not in terms of taking our lives, because we can't hit him. What? Alright, we're gonna chalk that one up to being a fluke because we sent multiple waves at the same time and probably broke the game. Yep, that was a reinforced zombie was supposed to kill. Alright, so note to self, go a little slower with it. And also, we do have this ability here. Do we want to use it? Maybe on the BAD. When the BAD... Bro, bro. <laughs> I can't get over that. He gets an infinite amount of the Buccaneers. Alright, here we go. Using the special... I don't even know what the... I literally don't even know what the special ability did. Alright, I'm gonna send like five waves out. Let's just send ten waves at once. Like, whatever. It doesn't matter how many... Look, dude, he has no cooldown. He literally has no... Just, just send them all. Just send them all. And apparently it glitched again. Note to self. Don't send too many waves at once. Game no like. We'll send three at a time then. There we go. Three waves at the same time. Surely that won't break it. Oh my gosh. Dude, I can't get over this. So theoretically speaking, only BADs can beat this tower. Because he has a non cooldown hook that sucks in all the Moabs and just immediately destroys them. I don't understand. And is it giving you extra cash for it too? Like the regular? No, it doesn't. I was going to say, if it gives you extra cash for it as well, like when you plunder it using Monkey Pirate Lord, I would lose my mind because that would just be way too cheap. So, so far, he seems fine. I'm sending like three more waves at once and... <laughs> yep, he just... He ate, he ate him. He ate him. He's, he's just done. Um, good. Very good stuff here. All right, let's go for five waves at the same time. Hopefully, we don't break the game. Uh, oh, my gosh. I mean, we, this tower alone is just game-breaking. That's just so silly. Also, can we talk about the spaceships that fly around it? They're literally not even pilots anymore. This is non-skinned, by the way. Uh, obviously, he's not a hero. So, this is non-skinned. That's just straight up what he looks like. I gotta say, all things considered, this is the most impressed with a Balloons TD6 update I've been probably since the monkey engineer was dropped. Like, this is so cool. I said five waves at the same time, and the BAD couldn't do anything about it. Let's go ahead and use the claw. Okay, so what does the ability do exactly? Someone feed me in here. Was I not paying attention, or did that straight up eat a BAD? I think it might have. In which case, that's what that ability does. It basically just creates a giant claw that can take down BADs, which is something that the Pirate Lord usually doesn't have the ability to do. Now, I might have seen things, so we're gonna have to wait for the next BAD round to come in. But if that works, especially on the reinforced BAD for 140, that's hilarious. Dude, I really want to try this ability out on another BAD. And also, if it does work and works on the reinforced BAD, I'm safe in saying that this is the most cracked tower in BTD6. Like, I wonder if you could just have this rolling all the way to wave like 200, 250. At, at that point, Sky is kind of the limit. Dude, he's a one man wrecking show. All right, I'm gonna send three waves again at the same time here. Let's see what he does with 130, 131, and 132 all bundled into a single wave. And I think the answer is quite well. 
they literally can't even make it out of spawn. So it is, it, it's a complete joke. He struggles more with regular balloons than he does with actual Moabs, which is very hilarious, by the way. <laughs> All right, there we go. He's crushing through him. Come on. Come on. Take out these Moabs. Let's get to wave 140. All right, here it is. The reinforced BAD. Oh, my. That was... That was literally it. He just... He literally just ate the reinforced BAD with the click of a single button. I, I, I give up. Ninja Kiwi, you guys really went absolutely crazy with this last update. Monkey Buccaneer Paragon, overpowered.